Uh, the material that we're going to go over here is not provided in your regular lecture. It's just added information. I think those of you who are taking biology will find this uh, more interesting uh, because we're going to talk just very briefly, briefly about confocal microscopy. And I'm going to give you some opportunity to learn about it because you're probably going to hear that term for the rest of your life. Back in the day, uh, someone discovered that a pinhole in itself can, in, in itself, all by itself, focus light, as well as a, a lens could. Um, actually, even better, because a lens typically has something called a depth of field. And any object that's not exactly on its focal, at its focal length will be out of focus, and it's called a depth of field. So if it's very out of focus, then it's called out of out, then it's outside the depth of field. So it's kind of a it's kind of a a, um, an, a little bit of an arbitrary concept. Uh, there's math to it where you can say this is in the depth of field or not. Um, but no, nonetheless, uh, when you're taking a picture, uh, nothing is perfectly in focus. Everything but is in the in the depth of field if it looks like it is in focus. Um, if you had used a pinhole instead of a lens, you would actually have a infinitely large depth of focus. Everything would be in focus from infinitely far to infinitely close if light were a perfect, uh, a perfect ray. And also if the pinhole that you're using, the hole, is uh, infinitely small, which you're not going to get a hole that's infinitely small. Now here's a pair of glasses that uses the pinhole idea to essentially uh, create perfect focus. So people who wear these glasses will see very clear focus. They can put something directly up to their face and it would be in perfect focus even if the lens of their eye is very bad. That's because it actually overrides and completely negates the need for the lens and the pinhole itself creates a focal point for light to go through and to create a focused image. I know that seems not believable but it really works. So I've provided for you, uh, if you're interested in this, I provided to you a link on Wikipedia for the pinhole camera. You can read about pinhole cameras, and they exist, and they are used. Uh, there's the pinhole glasses, as you see here. And then for those of you who are taking biology, uh, there's the confocal uh, mic microscopy that you're going to probably want to look at that. Um, for the pinhole camera and the pinhole glasses, the goal, the goal there is to create an infinitely uh, infinitely large uh, depth of field. So everything is in focus, far and near. On the other extreme, on the confocal microscopy, you're using a pinhole and lenses to essentially create an infinitely narrow depth of field. So when you're looking at a bacteria, for example, the only light that's uh, being seen is the light at a certain depth within the bacteria or the object itself. So it literally is only looking at a plane uh, where the light is being emitted from. So you can create, a, so you can literally look at the top of the bacteria and then you go a little deeper in the middle and then at the bottom. So it creates an extremely clear image and it's in its depth controlled. So by using a pinhole, you can go either to an infinite field of view, in theory, or to an infinitely narrow field of view, not truly infinite, but you understand what I'm saying, much more, much more controlled. So we're going to do this experiment. You're going to do this experiment and prove this to yourself. This stuff really is true. You're going to create a pinhole. I recommend using aluminum foil. Paper will work. Any, anything will work. Anything that's thin will work. And I want you to take a needle, something very sharp, and poke a hole in it. And poke a hole that just barely, you just barely felt it go through. And then you're going to, just enough so that light can pass through at the smallest hole possible. The smaller the hole, the better this will work. And then I would recommend that you then go like this. You put some ink on where you put the hole. Because you're not going to be able to find that hole when you need it. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take your cell phone. You're going to do this with your cell phone. We're going to take your cell phone and give it a, an approximately an infinite um, uh, depth of field. 
So if I were to take my cell phone right now, move it to my computer screen right now, at some point it'll go out of focus because it can only focus on objects so close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hole that I just made and I'm going to put it, now I just move it in, move it in, and put it directly over the top of the uh, center of the view. At some point, you'll see that you can see through the hole. See, I'm seeing through the hole now. Try to center it as best you can. Okay. Okay, and kind of hold it in place. I want you to take your camera then and put it right into the, your computer screen as tight as you can, right up to the smallest letter you can find on the screen. There's some small letters, ridiculously small letters. Okay. I'm taking it and I'm putting it right up against the screen. Look at that. You can actually see the pixels of the letter that uh, the screen is made of different colored pixels. Take a picture of that. Okay, this is what you're doing for your lab. Now do what I just did. Take a picture of that as close as you can get, close as you can get, and take a picture, okay? Then go back and remove your pinhole, okay? Go back up to that same exact letter, whatever letter that was, and see if you can take a picture of it that close, and obviously you can't. So what you'll do is you'll take two pictures, one using the pinhole in front of it and the other one without and you'll see that what you did is you took your camera and you give it you gave it an infinite depth of field you did the same thing that these glasses are doing um, and if you so I'm, there's nothing to write up you just simply have your name on it and you give me those two pictures uh, just drop them on a document and email it to me and uh, it's of your own interest do you want to read about the uh, uh, confocal microscopy or not, uh, I, I provided a link for the, um, in Wikipedia, so you can kind of understand why that exists, and then if you're interested, you can also look at the other links, the pinhole camera and the pinhole glasses, and that's it, that's all you're doing for this lab, I just wanted you to do something that was interesting, and uh, just have a better appreciation for optics, and imaging, and focus. It was really a pleasure teaching you all. Uh, maybe we'll, maybe I'll see some of you next year. Uh, say hi to me.